as Samsung prepares to release its fifth iteration of a folding smartphone, the tech community sits idly waiting for Apple to also join the fray. In today's quick video, we have a leak here on Twitter from a fairly, apparently, I'm not a big Apple uh, news follower, but what I can gather is that this is a fairly reputable Apple leaker, and they are talking about exactly when and how Apple may do just that. So let's jump over to Twitter. We have our TLDR up here at the top. Let's jump into this thread. Actually, let's look at this person himself. And this is the leaker here, as usual. I will not besmirch their good name by mispronouncing it. You can read it there for yourself. Maybe uh, comment phonetically how you would pronounce this name. As I said, I don't want to disrespect their name by giving it my terrible attempt uh, pronunciation. This last bit in particular would be troubling to me. An analyst at TF International Security sharing observations and predictions of the tech industry trends. 108,000 followers, surely to goodness, they are reputable. It says here that Angie Technology, I'm going to assume that's how that's pronounced. Now, this is a supplier of Apple products. They will be the new beneficiary of the all-new design foldable iPad. There may be no new iPad releases in the next 9 to 12 months as the iPad mini refresh is more likely to begin mass production in quarter 1 of 2024. They go on. Thus, I'm taking a cautious approach to iPad shipments for 2023, predicting a year-over-year -year decline of 10 to 15%. So this is based on the fact that there just will be fewer iPads being produced as they move towards a folding iPad. Nevertheless, I'm positive about the foldable iPad in 2024 and expect this new model will boost shipments and improve the product mix. Further, my latest survey indicates that the foldable iPad will feature a carbon fiber kickstand. Carbon fiber material will make the kickstand lighter and more durable. Angie Technology, as a polishing and bonding supplier of carbon fiber kickstand for the foldable iPad, is expected to continue benefiting from the growing trend of foldable devices equipped with kickstands in the future. All right, guys, so there is a lot there to break down. A foldable iPad evidently coming in 2024. Now, we have seen, if I can get back to my original thread here, folding tablets being shown off by the likes of Samsung, not actually fully released, but sort of from Samsung's display uh, portion of the company, which is separate from the Samsung that makes phones. But at any rate, we've seen these folding tablet designs. So something like this is what you should expect the folding iPad to look like. Perhaps it maintains what I believe is a three by two aspect ratio, and then it can simply fold closed to keep that display nice and safe and also have a smaller footprint, easier to drop into a bag or a backpack, something like that. But something that I think is maybe just as interesting to me is the mention of a kickstand. Are we going to be seeing a Surface Pro style kickstand on the back of that device as well? Personally, to me, when it comes to mobile devices with large screens, I just, I've really got to have a kickstand on it, right? Because that gives you so much functionality to be able to set it up anywhere you are. And, you know, Apple's got their magic stands and all these sorts of things. But having something that's just there on the device has always made so much more sense to me. And yeah, if you've got a device now that can shrink into a small form factor and have that stand, that's a really, really nice set of features. I also do want to point out that there was an article posted by Display Supply Chain, and they stated in this article, which I will drop links to all this in the description down below, that a folding iPhone is not is not expected excuse me, to be coming for a couple more years, probably 2025. So it appears Apple is going iPad first and then going to a folding iPhone. Now, this is a really, really interesting conversation to me because there was always this conversation, at least amongst my tech literate friends about what would a folding iPhone look like? Would it be like the Z Flip? I do happen to actually have next to me here, which is a normal phone that can fold over into a clamshell, a smaller form factor. Will it be more like the Z Fold, which is like a normal quote unquote iPhone, but can open up into a quote unquote iPad? Is that the way that they might go? And there was always this thought of, well, if they went with the fold, the Z Fold style, might they be cannibalizing some of their own iPad sales? Well, if they go with the iPad folding shell, but there's nothing to cannibalize there. So this does actually make all the sense in the world to me. Guys, really, really interesting stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button before you leave. Guys, I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.